Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about my detailed guide to Angor for one day and tell everything you need to know to plan your own trip, including transportation prices and the way I visited the temples of Angor one by one. So sit back, relax and let's explore this incredible destination together. As I showed in previous video, we stayed at the hostel in Sierip city, which was the starting point for our journey to the temple of Angor. There is several options to go to Angor Wat. One is Tuk Tuk. I think it uh, costs around uh, 20 or 25 dollars. And one is with tourist group. They will take you by bus. And one is by motorbike. It's electric motorbike and no need to uh, license to drive it. So it's nice option, I think, and it's fun. Scooter costs 17 USD. For two of us, we took second option of scooter. And it's enough battery life to last a full day without needing to be charged. Somebody take bicycle, but I don't recommend this kind of transport if you plan to go for one day. Ticket office located not in the entrance of uh, Angkor Wat. So you, you have to go to ticket office, buy ticket for one day or for three days or for a week. We bought it for one day, it's uh, $37. So I think it's, uh, it's enough. Environment here reminds me airport. A photo of visitors will be taken at the ticket office and used for identification purposes. We visited eight main temples in the park that I pointed on the map. And first destination was Tap Home. Locals suggested starting with Tap Home and ending with Angkor Wat because it's been quite busy with tourist groups in the morning. And also you can to catch the sunset on a hill which is located just a short distance from Angkor Wat. Okay. In the interest you have to cover your shoulders, it doesn't allow, allow to come with neck shoulders and short shorts. So you should cover your legs and shoulders. Angkor was founded in the 19th century by King Jayavarman II and Min city in Khmer. At its peak in the 12th century, it was one of the largest cities in the world, with an estimated population of 1 million people. Despite its grandeur, Angkor faced numerous challenges, including political instability, foreign invasions and environmental pressures. In the 15th century, the city was abandoned as the Khmer Empire declined, and it remained hidden in the jungle for centuries, until it was discovered by French explorers in the 19th century. Today, Angkor is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major tourist destination. The combination of ruins and large jungle creating a mystical atmosphere and give you feeling like you have been transported to another time. Tap Rom was built in the late 12th and early 13th centuries as a Buddhist monastery which was dedicated to King's mother. The carvings at Tap Home depict various figures, including high priests, monks, assistants, and laborers, among others. So it's believed that Tap Rom was a Buddhist monastery and educational institution. It also depicts dancers and musicians, suggesting that the temple may have been used for ceremonial or religious performances. Taprom gained significant popularity after Hollywood movie Lara Croft, Tom Reader. Now we came to Takeo Temple and here are less people than in Taprom. So, so very calm here and it's a nice place to take a picture without people behind. Compared to other temples, Takeo has a simple design without ornate carvings or intricate images on its walls. The stairs are very steep, to climb up more easy than to go down. It's 
difficult to imagine how people were able to construct Angkor temples using only basic tools, and it still stands today. The temple location in the Maji jungle makes it even more impressive that it has survived for so many centuries. It's a testament to the skill and ingenuity of the builders who created it. While many of the stones in the temples of Angkor are connected using only very precise shaping, some stones were also connected using iron rods. These rods were used to provide additional stability and support to the structure, particularly in areas where the weight of the stones was particularly heavy. In this place, I wish I had the superpower to see the past how these temples were built while touching the walls. This is my favorite temple. It makes me feel like I'm stepping into the page of a book like the Jungle Book by Radiant Kipling. And these agile monkeys are from the story who kidnapped Mowgli. Carvings and sculptures show daily life, myths, and history of, of anger. We came to the restaurant that located nearby Yon Temple. The prices at a restaurant are higher than usual, but it's justified because it's in anger. Anyway, it's not expensive. The terrace is named after a statue of a leopard king that was discovered on the site in the early 20th century. It's decorated with intricate carvings depicting scenes from Hindu mythology and Buddhist cosmology. And include images of gods, demons, animals and mythical creatures. The terrace's purpose is unclear, but it's believed to have served as a platform for royal ceremonies and public events viewing as well as possibly a Muslim for royal family members. Now we are heading to the main temple. Angkor Wat is considered the most important temple in Cambodia and is regarded as a symbol of the country's cultural and religious heritage. It has played a central role in the development and nurturing of the Khmer civilization. The silhouette of Angkor Wat is used as a symbol on the flag of Cambodia and also appears on the various local products such as beer, water and so on. There are several carvings on the wall of Angkor Wat that depicts scenes of war. One of the most famous is the Battle of Kurukshetra, which depicts a major conflict from the Hindu Mahabharata epic. The Khmer Empire was able to mobilize large number of workers to undertake massive construction projects like Angkor Wat, and they were able to complete it in just around 30 years. The temple was dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. Our final destination was the hill where we watched the sunset. The hike up the mountain takes about 15 minutes. Well, it looks like every tourist in Angkor decided to show up on this hill for sunset. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.